To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add my glow effect to. Let's begin by holding down the Alt key on your keyboard and dragging your clip up onto the track above to create a duplicate. If you're using a Mac, hold down the Option key while dragging instead. And I'm just going to click the eye toggle next to the bottom clip to hide it for now so you can see what we're about to change. Now let's go over to the Effects panel and type Luma key in the search box. Drag the Luma key effect onto your top clip. Make sure your top clip is selected on your timeline and go over to Effect Controls. Under Luma Key, change the cutoff to around 65%. We're using the Luma Key to tell Premiere that this building is a thing we want to glow. Then, under Opacity, change the Blend Mode to Pin Light. Okay, now you can turn back on the eye toggle for your bottom track. Next, let's go back over to the Effects panel and search for Gaussian Blur. Drag the Gaussian Blur effect onto your top clip on the timeline. Then in Effect Controls under Gaussian Blur, increase the blurriness to your liking to get a nice looking glow effect. I also recommend checking Repeat Edge Pixels so that your glow continues to the edge of the frame. For a different look, you can change the blur dimensions to vertical or horizontal to get more of a glowy, streaky look. Alright, this glow looks good, but if you're looking for a different kind of glow, you can experiment with different blend modes under Opacity. The Linear Dodge Add will create more of an intense look. You can lower the opacity to decrease its intensity, but I kind of like how it looks at 100. One last thing you might want to do is add a color tint to your glow. To do this, go over to the Effects panel and type HLS in the search box. Drag the Color Balance HLS effect onto your top clip. Now under Color Balance and Effect Controls, you can play around with adjusting the hue, lightness, and saturation to get your desired look. Okay, I really like how this glow looks now. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.